Hello guys, Devjati here from webshootip.com and today's video I am going to tell you how you can design a side navbar by using Bootstrap 4 and some custom CSS. Here you can see this toggle icon. When you click here, this sub menu will get open. Okay, and I design in such a way that you can easily design a mega menu also. I mean, there you can see it's a one drop down, there is another drop down. In this drop down, there is another drop down. So there is multiple level is there and you can easily design a shopping mall website or shopping website also by using that okay and this is totally responsive also you can see when i used to minimize it see it will open like that and this only icon will be get displayed okay and when you clicking on the icon this another relative menus will be get open okay so it's just perfect for everything okay okay so let's start as you can see here i take a standard html document okay so after that i need to link up the bootstrap for css and js files so i'm first linking up the css file and for the js file i am going to use c and this okay you can see the js c and this is there just copy from here just copy it and before the closing of the body tag just paste it okay now it's completed now i have to design the code and before that I need some extra thing also I need a custom style sheet to add so create a new file and rename image as side nav side nav dot CSS and you have to link up here also so CSS slash so site nav dot css save it and i need also front of some cnd because i need the icons so just google font of some cnds click in the first link and you can see that the link is will be there yeah just copy this and and paste it save it give the title as side nab ok so come inside the body take container fluid dip class will be container fluid close it in between div class will be row dplex another class d medium device md block and after that flex no wrap and after that i need a wrapper okay i'll give hold the code in my video description i mean i'm going to give a link from that you can easily download this code okay but i will recommend please watch the whole video till end without skipping so you can better understand that so take another dim and class will be call md3 i mean what is toggling actually you can see i mean let open my project yeah this is call md3 from here to here i mean this is the black portion you can see 
this is called md3 okay and it's going to toggle the call md3 portion okay so call md3 after that what do you need after float left because that side is floating left side so float left after that call one I mean call one for the I mean very small device and it should be displaying call one I mean you can uh, recognize I mean I'm going to see you once also see in the small device this is call one the black portion is call one okay so call one and after that let's come back in the code call one after that padding left will be zero and padding right also don't record so padding right also zero and collapse and collapse should be i mean in uh, the vertical way so with and till that and id is equal to sidebar okay so just close it sidebar so in between take another div and class will be list group and border zero and card text center and text md lift and when it open in the i mean md device then it will be left the text will be in the left position So after the take a anchor tag H adep will be ID will be menu one. So class class I'm going to give list group item. another thing d inline block sorry i do inline block and another collapsed c o l l a p a c d collapsed and after that I do okay after the data toggle data toggle will be collapse after that data parent data parent will be what i take i'm take here that sidebar so you can see here i give the id is equal to sidebar so same thing and after that area expand Ready expanded. I want false. I don't want ready expanded. Okay. Close it. In between, I'm taking anchor tag for the dashboard icon. Okay. 
sorry not i tag i class will be fa and fa dashboard okay so after that close the item after closing of i tag text span and the span class after that we need what class should i give here of course d none and in md device i needed inline so and d md inline and close it and write item one okay after this anchor tank take another dim class will be collapse and id will be menu one okay so close that after that i need inner sub menu first one so I can take anchor tag. This step is equal to has menu one sub. I mean sub menu of one I am giving here. And one. So after that I need the class. Class will be list group item and data toggle data toggle will be collapse ad expanded sorry ex area expanded will be false so i write the correct pending now area expanded will be false close it right sub menu one the one okay so after this anchor tag get end so after this anchor tag end take another div class will be collapse id is equal to menu one sub one sorry menu one this one let's copy it now it will be better close it and after that take another anchor tag keep the target empty only you can give another target for the link 
so I need class will be list group item and data parts um, data parent data parent will be the same thing again I need to copy it so data parent will be has and I'm going to paste it again sub one menu one close it I need short array rights sub item one a like that okay sub item one after that a sorry I have to write one take another one let's copy it paste it here give a b um let's do one thing let's make another sub menu So dim first H step <laughs> hot select high select tag DBR. I need anchor tag. H step is equal to has what shall I write? Menu one sub one sub one. Let's write it menu one sub one sub sub one sub one okay a little bit uh, then I mean you can understand this menu one of that sub one and after that of sub one I mean inner inner and inner menu okay so class Class will be same list group item. I you can see it in top also. I do the same. I'm repeating the same process. I mean, creating sub menu and sub menu like that. Okay. And data toggle. Toggle. Data toggle will be collapsed. Not collapse. Collapse. Data double is collapse and after that area expand I don't want area expand so keep it false so right sub item three C make it 2b it will look better so after that take another div class collapse and id I'm going to copy the ID because it's a huge ID name. Okay. So after that, close it and in between write some another anchor tag. So keeping the target empty and class will be list item group. List group, list group item, and data parent. Hmm. 
equal to um, data parent will be the same the space it because it's very huge I tell you now oh I forgot the colon uh, copy it sorry cut it inside paste it so after that close it mm, what should I give here sub item 3 c dot 1 copy it another time Three C dot two after closing up this div take another A and get ten. Give the target empty and class will be list group item data parent p interact data parent is equal to that before one not it the mean this menu one sub one menu one Sub one. Okay. Yeah. Main O M E. And has close it. That sub sub item four. D okay. Sub item four D give one space here. It will look good. This, 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 and this will come in a the first sub menu. Okay. And after that take another anchor tag because I am going to do the another thing I mean you can see the uh, two sub sub menu will be there so after 3d after closing of that anchor tag take another D so take another anchor tag H is equal to menu one sub one sub one sorry sub two code because I already give one sub one so it will be sub two so after that class will be list group item and data toggle data toggle will be collapse and area expand area expand will be false and close it and write sub item sub item 5e give a small gap so after that taking another div Deep 
class will be collapse and after that div and id will be just copy that close it in between take another anchor tag h dev keeping empty target and sorry and after that the class will be list group item after that data parent will be the top one i have to copy it again okay and let's close it and sub item three c one let's copy it once paste it once and make it three c two sorry 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 why is it three e one and three e two because it's coming from this one so three e one and three e and here two okay so after that after that take and the dim and class sorry take and the rank attack a First, we'll take the H target, keep it empty, and for it, the class will be list group item and data data parent data parent will be. menu 1 menu 1 and here give sub item 2 sub item 2 copy it once more I make a mistake. I have to give has here also. Okay. Let's make the change the preview in the code preview. It'll look better. Yeah. So after this deep tag, I have to give the remaining links. Okay. So a href keeping at empty and class will be list group item and d inline after that sorry d inline block will be after that collapsed collapsed data parent data parent will be c 
sidebar and i tag class fn fn hot if you hot close the i tag after closing of the i tag give the span spn span class will be d non and dmd line dmd line in the span right item 2 okay i need this to copy some more times and i have to change this that i class also so after doing that i'll come back okay i paste it and i change that fa class also so after that i have to write the what will be the visible the body session so i am taking the main class and class will be call md 9 and px5 pl md 2 pt to main mx auto okay after that a h ref we has data target will be has sidebar after that data toggle and in toggle the data toggle will be collapse so let me spell c l a p c collapse area expanded holes i class will be f f sorry f navigation f navigation and f a i need a bigger so if a 2x and p y padding in y x is 2 p1 padding 1 from its side close it after that take the div after closing up the anchor tag dib and 
No, it'll be. Page header. Okay. And between the page header, tick H2 tag. Bootstrap for sidebar. Menu. P. Class will be. Lead. multi level After that, give a HR. After that, take another div. Class will be Pro. in between deep class class will be call md6 button Role equal to bottom plus bottom. I want red color button so. Danger. Data toggle. And data toggle will be collapse. Data target. as demo after that area expand oh right it on Surgery to two because I want it should open. Horizontal collapsible.
so after that take another dim glass will be I want uh, this collapse effect should be in width not in height width collapse and it should be open in page load so the head should be inside of the class so and area expanded so okay so in between div class will be list group icon I mean here will be list group so style I'm taking this white in 400 pixel okay so close it take paragraph sorry this one go inside a little bit I want 70 what okay so copy this paste it now we have to change little bit thing and that's like demo give it demo 2 sorry demo 2 and for the first one I have to mention the ideal I forgot to mention idea I think mm. how did it go yeah I have to mention here id also here no no this, this one uh, I need ID equal to demo to okay so let's close it and some error it's showing I think it will be IT deleted. What happened? It's showing something I open doesn't close. What is that? Okay, I forgot to give that equal to sign in top also. Style I mentioned, but I forgot to give that equal to sign okay so now actually for this video going very long and so for that I just copying the CSS okay because um, this video will be very get very huge anyhow I am going the details code in my video description I'll give the link from there you can download everything okay so just paste it 
save it and let's check how it looks like let's check the browser prism yeah it's working perfect and sub menu is also working perfectly let's open sub sub menu yeah everything is perfect here so after that and here you can see it's going to close horizontally just like the effect is same okay if you want in reverse way means in y axis it's going x axis na so come in code Mm, yeah just make it vertical so it will be easy to understand and yeah mention height save it mm, yeah, this one no? see this was coming in x axis this I mean toggle and this is in y axis okay this sidebar you can use in so many professional website if you have any question regarding this tutorial or regarding this video you can ask me in the comment section hope you like this video if you like this video please like and share this video and please leave subscribe my channel if you want to get the latest video notification please hit the bell icon thank you